Hi folks, Bag Defo here. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, regripping clubs, um, some do's and don'ts, and some common mistakes. Uh, so we are going to uh, do some graphite shafted clubs. I know uh, some people are kind of uh, a little skittish or a little iffy about um, cutting off uh, grips with graphite shafts. Um, I'm going to show you the correct way to do it, the safest way to do it. Um, the first thing uh, we need is a utility blade, a utility knife. Um, the first uh, common thing that people uh, use would be a straight utility blade. This is a no-no. Um, you'd want to use a hook blade. Uh, looks like this. You can find them at Home Depot uh, or at Lowe's. Uh, they're usually made to cut roofing shingles, but uh, a nice fresh sharp hook blade uh, would be good. Actually this one is uh, a little old. Let's uh, see if I have See if I have some new ones. Okay. Let's get a uh, fresh new blade in here. Okay. All right, nice new hook blade. Okay, uh, let's grab a club. Got a uh, graphite shaft here. Um, next thing uh, people I would not like to see anyone do is to um, cut straight on a 90 degree angle, straight down here. That is uh, very dangerous. Uh, it could easily slip off to one side. Um, I would like to see you know the hook blade get in on a 45 degree angle you can go straight down but again not going like this here we want to go like on a 45 degree angle so get our hook blade started and again we're not going straight down like this we're gonna go on a 45 degree angle straight on down This way there's no digging. Okay. No digging hardly whatsoever. Um, so let's get this tape off. Uh, to get the tape off, I mean, we can use uh, a couple different things. Let's move the camera over a little further. We can use a torch. If you have one handy, a uh, heat gun we can use, or even a hair dryer. If you don't have, a, you know, most people, some people don't have a torch handy. Some people will not have a heat gun ready. Uh, you can also use, uh, go steal your wife or girlfriend's hair dryer. Um, but we basically want to get this heated up. We don't want to, obviously don't want to scrape this off uh, like we uh, would might do um, with a steel shafted club uh, some steel shafts you can just you know use a, a flat knife and just scrape it off this is graphite that would be a very bad idea uh, so let's uh, we'll use the torch here just uh, lightly go over this here a few times for a few seconds get it heated up And then uh, just work our peel our way up. Some tape a little harder than others. If you need to heat it up a little further, you can. It would be very difficult to overheat it. You'd have to sit the keep the torch on there for a while to do any damage to the shaft, but uh, we're almost there. And uh, 
actually going to show you. This has a plug in it. Okay, that's pretty clean there. So let's do another one. So I had, so I stripped the, the grip off of this here and I'm actually going to overheat this. Overheat this here. It sometimes can happen. Start stripping this off here. So this one came off fairly easily. Thought it was overheated, but sometimes you'll get little residue over here. Uh, the easiest way to get that residue off um, to get just a little piece of double-sided tape and you'll be able to easily get any residue on the shaft off so I have a little residue here just work that get it nice and clean And uh, now we're ready to, uh... okay, so got our tape off of some of those, some of the clubs. You can see I burned it off. Um, I've got a couple more um, things I want to show you. If you've ever taken uh, pin grips off of their clubs, you know, pin uses the spiral uh, double-sided tape, which is a huge pain in the balls. To get the tape off so I'm going to show you uh, a little trick I use to uh, cut the grip off uh, and get the spiral tape all off in one shot so I got uh, I got a pin so the example was this is you know an old pink shaft you can see with the spiral tape on it uh, you can see I actually cut the grip off of this one already without Again, without digging in to any of the tape, so I can easily uh, cut that one off. But let's let's uh, do one. This is a, an old demo shaft. Let's again. It has it all has to do with the cutting that on a forty-five degree angle, not not going down and digging in here. So let's try and get this here. Again, we're going to just kind of go. Even maybe a little less than a 45 degree on it, almost flat. Let's see how we did. So, this is how the spiral tape, yep, has the spiral tape. You can see that uh, did not make a lot of digging at all. Let's heat her up and see if it comes off in one shot. We'll start at the bottom here. I'm going to do, uh oh, oh, look at what we got here. That super easy. Can we get all the way up? Oh, 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 almost. It's always that last little one, but that sure beats, Sure beats going every other one, taking every other one, and stopping every other one, stopping every other one, and stopping. Just peel it right off again. All you gotta do, you know, don't dig in this way. Just get it flat, almost flat like this here. More flat, not even on a 45. Get it more flat right down the shaft, and you'll get that garbage pink tape off every time. Okay, we're ready to start the gripping process. Let's go over to our gripping station here. And uh, you know what? This is this is way too easy. Let's uh, no, but not everybody has a grippage station. Um, you know what? Let's let's go over to our vise. Do it on the vise here. Okay, 
not everyone has a gripping station. So if you have a vice at home, that will be that will be good. I'd say that that was the that would be the least to make it easily. That would be the least uh, piece of equipment you would need. Uh, let's do it with our vise and we'll get a, a rubber clamp here. So, got our vise, got our rubber clamp. Get this on here, let's get the vise set up. Okay, let's we'll get this locked in here. Clamp it down, just very light pressure. Let's get it in our playing position. Okay. A little more. Okay. It's pretty good. Get a little snug, not too tight. Again, it's a graphite shaft. Okay. Uh, let's get some solvent. Um, this is just regular grip solvent you can pick up uh, anywhere. Um, you know what? Let's uh, let's suppose you don't have grip solvent. What else could you use? Um, acetone? No. Please do not use acetone. Let's see what else I got here. Uh, I got distilled white vinegar. No. I got. Isopropyl alcohol, that's a no. Mineral spirits, that's a yes. We can use mineral spirits if we don't have grip solvent. All right. Mineral spirits, let's bring our trash can over. So, there, grip tape. Grip tape. So, some people will, you know, put their grip tape on like so, and then roll it over. Mm. Again, I prefer to line it up right on top here. That's, look how easy that goes over. No creases, no nothing. Dude. Get the excess turned in there. Let's grab a grip. Uh, let's see here. Got an, an ID8, leftover ID8 grip, mineral spirits. And again, same thing with mineral spirits as grip solvent. It's not, you know, the amount of um, solvent you're using. It's where you're putting it out on here. So. I'm going to use a very minimal amount here of mineral spirits. We'll just shake it up and we'll pour it out over here. Again, another common mistake is, you know, pouring it out, you know, over there on top, you can see the underneath will not get lubricated. The underneath side here will not get, all you got to do is run your finger along the bottom. And that will easily lubricate, lubricate this, and it'll make it so much easier sliding the grip on. Line it up. So that's and then again, that's a common mistake. People will pour the grip, they'll pour the grip solvent out. The under the underside of it will not be lubricated. They'll go to slide the grip on, and it'll get stuck. And they wonder why I use so much solvent. You know, I use plenty of solvent. Why did the grip get stuck? Because the underside of it was not coated. All you have to do is run your finger on. You can see I really didn't use a ton of solvent. This was mineral spirits too. So you can see how, how much easier that was. And uh, there we go. Let's uh, do another one. Grip from a dryer now. Again.
again, same thing. We'll get the clamp on there. We'll get it down. I like to get it down as far as we can. Get it down the shaft as far as we can. I, I don't want the... You can see how the, the shaft is a little wiggly as putting the grip on you. Ideally, if you have a clamp, you'd like to get it down as far down the shaft as you can. Let's set it right there. Okay, we'll clamp it in. We'll get it in our playing position. Okay, it's a nice square face. Get a little snug. Okay. Same thing. Tape. Again, right over top there. So all you gotta do one finger. One finger. No wrinkles. Simple. Let's grab a grip. Let's see what we got here. We got a tailor made grip here. And we got a Titleist head, a Nike shaft, and a tailor made grip. Why not? So, again, we'll just use a tiny bit of solvent here. Not much. Shake it up, pour it out. Again, run our finger along the bottom. Totally lubricated. One hand it. Here we go, simple as that. Simple as that. All right. We're all set. Ready to go. Hope that helps you out. Um, we'll see you next time.